So Toshiba is uh, participating to JITEX um, and it's going to be the second year actually. And um, we wanted to uh, ensure that all our partners and all our customers are aware that we are well established here. And um, because we, we lack some kind of awareness uh, from our customers. And we just want to make sure that uh, through this um, big event, we could um, appeal to uh, all our partners and customers and ensure that um, they understand what Toshiba uh, is doing here in the uh, uh, in, in Middle East. As you know, uh, we've been in this uh, notebook business for more than 35 years. We were the, the pioneers, by the way, and we started with B2B business. This year, we, uh, we're coming up with a, a new product, which is the uh, X30T, which is a two-in-one 13-inch uh, uh, notebook PC. And uh, we just want to share uh, with all our customers and partners this new, new, this new product. Beside the, the hardware business, uh, we have uh, two other uh, products that are very important for us which is around security. One is uh, the Toshiba Zero Client. It's a, it's a mobile Zero Client, and um, it's unique because you do not have today a mobile Zero Client besides Toshiba's. Usually uh, they are fixed. You don't really have mobile Zero Client. And because we have uh, such expertise uh, for notebooks, we decided to go through, um, to go in that direction. And um, we think when um, the 5G will come, probably 2020, we'll be able to um, uh, demonstrate that uh, this zero client will be uh, the next thing. We used to have uh, the mainframe in dummy terminals. Nowadays, um, the, let's say the mainframe is the cloud and the dummy terminals will be the mobile. And uh, the products that we have is very unique in the sense that um, it has no uh, hard disk drive, SSD. Uh, there's no, no data that you can leave in that, uh, that uh, uh, terminal. So if you lose the, 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 P, the zero client, basically there's no risk of uh, having any data leakage or uh, basically it's, it's just a box. Now there's another uh, thing that we, we just uh, bring um, this, this year. This is, um, um, this is called the Dana Edge. So Dana Edge is, um, is an edge computing device so it's, uh, it's basically a small PC, this size, and uh, the size of, let's say, an iPhone S, um, you know, a, a, big one, a big one. And uh, it's basically, it has, um, it's running on a Microsoft OS, and it has um, all the features of a PC. So it's running on um, uh, i3, i5, i7, and you can have Plintium as well. Um, for memory, it can go for 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, and uh, SSD can go from 125, um, sorry, uh, 128 to 56. Um, and it's a normal uh, PC that could be connected to a device, uh, glasses, for instance. And um, this kind of um, the, the pairing of the glasses, so the glasses are made of a display and a camera that is connected uh, through um, a USB-C cable to um, this Dan Edge uh, computer. And um, you have a lot of uh, application for such kind of thing. We have no, now more and more um, customers asking for such kind of devices and, um, and in different industries. And actually um, those scenarios will come up, uh, even like some scenarios that we haven't really thought about and are just um, being proposed by some customers because they see our device and then understand what they can do with it. So that's the beauty of this, uh, this kind of a device. And um, today, uh, we're very proud of uh, being able to show that to um, uh, the JATX events. Well, they're, they're obviously very uh, interested because they see that that will be a new opportunity for them uh, to um, bring some value to the customers. So we're not only talking about hardware business. We're not only talking about hardware transactions. We're talking about combining with some, some solutions and services. And this is bringing actually more value to our partners and that's what they, they want. So for 2019, um, obviously we see um, the economy just getting back on track and um, we find more and more opportunities. So um, I can see some growth coming in, um, in 2019 and uh, in order to be able to cope with such kind of uh, activity, uh, we are ready to uh, invest on people and see if we have uh, additional opportunities, like especially in Saudi, for instance, on UAE, and um, we have other countries obviously around and um, 
we, we do believe that there's a dynamic now uh, coming back. And uh, fortunately, the, uh, the oil is getting back on track as well. It will help. And um, I think most of them now, those countries are very interested in um, getting to the digital world and trying to be more efficient. And I think Toshiba can just bring this, um, this, uh, this technology to, uh, to help uh, and to get into this uh, new world of uh, digital world. Right?